Hi, this is Jeannie, and I'm gonna take this cross that I decorated a while back. I did this like way before uh, Easter or Mother's Day, but it's a twig cross. Of course, it came from Trinity Tree, and I think, you know, they're probably sold out now, but I was just gonna show you how I like to repurpose things. This is one reason I don't use a lot of hot, hot glue when I work with things, because I like to be able to remove things and use them again. So uh, the bow was just attached with some wire and then I had created this little uh, bouquet and just had it secured with um, a zip tie and wire. And we'll just take that off. It was secured in a couple of places. I will just stick this greenery back in my stash and, you know, use it for something else later. I think for this cross, since Memorial Day is coming up, I'm just going to make a bow. Um, I have my dad's uh, flag that, that we got, you know, at his funeral, and I have an area in my living room a little table in the corner and I'm going to put that flag and just make a patriotic bow and just, you know, make a little display like that. And I've got this navy blue um, wood bead garland from Trinity Tree and I have this in several different colors and I may just use that on the table somehow. Now, my ribbons are scrap. Oh, sorry, that's noisy. Uh, this is just a navy and white striped ribbon. It's just some that I have, you can see I've used it and I don't even know where I got it. Uh, Trinity Tree, I'm sure, but I mean, the tags are going off of it. And this is also uh, some ribbon that I got from Trinity Tree that I think is, is sold out now, but this is a scrap. You can find something similar. And then these are, this is gauze ribbon. Now, I love this ribbon. This came from Trinity Tree and I'll give you the numbers for this. Uh, in the tutorial, but the gauze ribbon is one of my favorite ribbons. They have it in one and a half inch and two and a half inch and in several different colors, but it's just uh, one of my favorites to use. It's, of course, it's wired ribbon, and this is the one and a half inch, um, and I'm not sitting here if I didn't cut a hole in that, like that. Well, I'll go ahead and cut that piece off. But even though it's gauze, it's, it's light and airy, but it still has such great color. Um, I'll try to be more careful with this one. But anyway, and I always cut that little folded part off because you never can get that to smooth out good enough. So I'm just gonna make a small bow. And I was thinking about a small bow that goes up here and then use a piece of this to just kind of trail down. So let me go ahead and cut that off. And that's what we'll use. Now this is gonna be a, a simple bow. So today I'm gonna use the Easy Bow Maker. We have these on Trinity Tree. And I'm using some ribbon scissors. These are some new scissors that we got the other day from Trinity Tree, at Trinity Tree, and they are really good. And wire cutters too. You need a, um, now you can use a chenille stem here or a zip tie. I'm gonna use a wire because it's not gonna, it's gonna be really easy to hide on that twig wreath. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece of wire. And have that, okay? So I'm gonna start with this two and a half inch ribbon, a stripe, and make about a, a 10 inch tail, and I can always shorten those. Just drop that down. And like I say, we don't need much of a bow. It doesn't need to be very big. So it's gonna be about, about an eight inch bow. So I'm gonna come out to the four inch mark, make a loop, make a loop on the other side, 
And I'm gonna go ahead and end that right there because like I say, we don't we don't need a big bow. Oops. And then next I think I'll use um, the white. Let's put the white on top. Let's go with the red. This is the one and a half inch ribbon. Just gonna drop that down. Gonna make same size loop, four inches. And now I'm twisting this ribbon, even though it's the same on both sides. I, I don't know, I think if you get in the habit of always twisting, it just, I don't know. You don't have to. Now next, I'm gonna go ahead and put in that uh, God Bless America piece. I'm just gonna pinch that up. I don't know how long it will need to be, uh, but we'll start with that. I'm just gonna put that in there with that little short tail. We'll trim that off uh, a little bit later. And then I'm gonna end with my white ribbon on top. Make the same size loop. Now this time I'm gonna do three loops. I'm gonna do a little extra loop. It's gonna be smaller. It's gonna kinda of help cover up the mechanics. I don't always do this, but sometimes I do. So I'm making about, about a two inch loop. And then I'm gonna end that off. Okay, gonna press that down. Press that stack down tight. Go ahead and get the bow maker out of the way. Take my wire, go right over where my thumb is holding, come around to the back, the bottom, get the wire twist, and then I'm gonna hold the wire and just twist the ribbon. Okay, now I'm gonna fluff out my bow. should have had my, my fluff box down. This is just a homemade fluff box. I made this out of a two by 10 piece of wood. It has a little eyelet screw in the middle and a little nail on the front. And you just take the wire and slide it under that little eyelet screw and then come around to the front and just go around that nail a couple of times or one time is enough. And then this way you have both hands freed up to fluff out your bow. You can just pull those loops out. Now there's that little short end where I did the little streamer. I'm gonna cut that off and make that a little bit shorter. Just fluff out those loops and tails and that little short center piece short loop in the center just kind of pull that over to cover up the mechanics don't need to cover up my god bless god bless america part okay now this is probably going to have to be trimmed off some but i'm going to wait until i put it on the cross and put it on the easel on my table to figure out how much I need to cut off here. Uh, this ribbon, I'm gonna go ahead and dovetail the ends of that. And I've already cut my other ribbons at an angle. So we just kind of Fluff that, put your fingers under there, kind of, this is all wired ribbon, of course. Give that ribbon a little lot. And you probably have to fluff it some more once you get it where you want to put it. So now I'm just gonna take it off the board, off the fluff box. attach it to the 
across. Got to just separate that bar. Come around to the back. Get that wire out of the way so it wouldn't scratch the wall or anything. Okay. All right, so I think I can go ahead and cut that off right along there. that's pretty. I think that's all it needs. I'm not going to put any flowers on it. I'm just going to go with just that bow and uh, put it in the living area and see how it looks. <laughs>